Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Gabriella, who's from National Instruments, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about a direct injection control and measurement system. Kind of a big deal these days because with the uh, need for better fuel efficiency, a lot of cars are going away from carburation towards direct injection. Yeah. So Gabriella, when you have a direct injection system, um, how do you approach measuring it? There are quite a few things that you can measure in systems like this. Um, for example, you would want to know what sort of signals you're sending to your fuel injection, um, your fuel injectors themselves. Um, so when you're driving fuel injection, it's very important to know how much current you're sending to them. Um, they require a lot of current to drive them, and also they require current in very particular signals. Um, so what this the DCM offers us um, is that it allows us a lot of customization with these signals. Um, so for example, say you're driving um, a certain type of engine, you need a certain type of current signal to be sent to them. Um, but with a different type of engine, you might need a completely different type of signal. So it's important to note that current is always the, the main factor for, for a lot of these signals, um, for I guess for the solenoid injectors that we have. So solenoid injectors take inductive loads, and we have our piezo injectors uh, that need capacitance. They need a lot of voltage to drive them. Huh. Um, and so whenever you're measuring things like fuel injection, you definitely need to know how you're controlling it with what types of signals. Um, and also you can measure things maybe like your oxygen um, outputs at the end or carbon dioxide or something like that, just to know uh, how much gasoline or diesel fuel or whatever kind of uh, fuel you're working with, how much has burned up and how much is left at the end. Huh. Um, and what this product offers us is we have a lot of things like um, our, our digital input and output setup that allows us to um, maybe drive other types of devices from this device that we need within our test system. Um, so we could have something like um, maybe on our analog input channels, um, we could have something like sensors that we're measuring. Um, so we've just simulated a break in a pedal here, but you could also do something um, like monitor oxygen with these systems. Um, so it's really important to note that this system allows us a lot of customizability within what we're measuring, what we're driving, and what we're testing, um, because it does control fuel injection and fuel injectors in general, um, but it also allows us to kind of take a step back from that and analyze our system as a whole and how that relates to our fuel injection. What's well, interesting. Um, so, yeah. Gabrielle, just as an example, for a solenoid type injector, uh, how much current do you have to send that? And what is the, what's the waveform look like? Is it like a square wave, a triangle? Yeah. Or what um, does it look like? So as far as current levels go, it can vary. Um, for example, this, can, this sends out um, current anywhere from uh, a few uh, amps to maybe 15 amps or something like that, which is a pretty high amperages, because um, a lot of other devices run at milliamps, so just a fraction of that. Um, so it could, it, it isn't definitely in the amp range usually, um, and sometimes it's smaller, sometimes it's a little bit more, but I wouldn't say more than a, a hundred amps or so. I see. And what kind of frequencies are we talking about when you're driving an injector? Yeah, so the frequencies get very high. Um, and I'm actually not sure at what frequency this would be running. So a pulse we have, for example, and this is a pulse of a single um, click of the fuel injector you're hearing. Mm. So essentially, within one click, um, you have the pulse rising, settling down, dropping to a lower level, and then continuing on. Mm. And if you, could, if you look at the uh, oscilloscope trace we have here, it goes from zero to about one millisecond is the entire pulse. Wow. Um, so the frequencies are, are pretty high there. I'd say, huh. what is that, uh, higher than megahertz, perhaps? I'm doing the calculation in my head. Yeah. Right, but yeah it's in the megahertz range, yeah. I think. Yeah. So it, it, that brings up another question, Gabriella. Mm -hmm. If you were uh, trying to customize this or tweak things for performance, could you use this to tweak your oh, injection system uh, for higher performance? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and what's cool about this is that it allows you to, I guess, develop your system and work with your system without the long lead times of developing software. Um, so essentially, you could just change one parameter. Um, let me go ahead and pull something up. So for example, um, on driver bank B, we have our diesel injectors right here. So we have a solenoid injector and a piezo injector. Um, and we can just essentially set whatever type of pulse we want so that we can test it. So we can say, I want to send this type of pulse and see what the result is. Um, so essentially something we can do 
um, is if we put the, mo the mode into uh, triggered multipulse like we have here. Um, essentially, we can configure the pulse down here, and it's actually what is sending the pulse over here to the diesel injectors. Um, and let me go ahead and change this. Um, and another cool thing we can do is do what's called a one shot, which I'll just send a single pulse and see, you know, see what the outcome is from one pulse. Um, so just over here, we press the one shot button and it's sending a pulse that has an 800 microsecond high, 800 microsecond low, 500 microsecond high, and so forth. And you heard that one, it sounds like one click, but it's, actual, it's actually um, multiple fuel injection um, pulses going on there, huh. so, huh. yeah. So could you use this to optimize the shape of the injector pulse? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. So, so what's cool about this product is that you can um, customize your, your fuel injection pulse as much as you would like. Hmm. Um, so we do have some, um, some preloaded phase arrays here. Um, and essentially all of these that are plotted right now are just simulated values. So it would be like the ideal. Um, but once it's actually running, you can see your own values plotted on top of this. Um, so if we look at, we have our DI simulation settings, which is essentially where we've configured our pulse here. Um, so we could change things like the, uh, the inductance, capacitance, um, resistance, and different portions um, of our signal. Um, so yeah, we can, we can definitely go in and tweak the values ourselves to see what kind of current signals uh, or voltage signals would be the most efficient in the, in the oh. system. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a pretty neat system, Gabrielle. Yeah. So thanks for taking us through it. Yeah, yeah, no problem.